So, back when the first season of this show came out, I basically did a series of videos giving my first impressions on each episode, and I figured, hey, why not have season 2 be the time I reboot this format? Greetings to all of you on the other side of the screen. I am the Overly Positive Fanboy, and welcome to the first episode of Overly Positive Vlogs, the show where I give my unfiltered thoughts on the latest TV. Well, here we have season 2 of Star Wars The Bad Batch, with a dual episode premiere, thankfully not as long as last time. And what do we get with this one? Well, we get a... Amusing enough two-part episode where the Bad Batch have to do a heist on Count Dooku's palace on Sereno because there's some kind of war chest containing all sorts of valuable items and stuff which they need to get before the Empire confiscates it all because the fortune contained within it might actually be enough to buy their freedom for good because let's face it, the Empire's cracking down on all sorts of criminal activities these days and it's only a matter of time before their cozy operation with Sid becomes undone. So, one thing I really liked about these two episodes was that they ended up fixing one of the big issues with the first season, where Echo barely got any focus in comparison to the others. Like, okay, I get it, he is technically the character with a longer amount of history, having been a fixture in the Clone Wars for the first few seasons, but... He was just so out of focus in the first season, it was unbelievable, like... I don't even think he had a notable reaction when told of Fives' fate. And like, Fives was his bud, you know? His comrade in arms. So yeah, Echo gets quite a bit of focus here. And it seems this season's kind of going to be pushing him in more of the voice of reason or voice of morality. Like, he's the Batcher who really wants to be going out there and fighting the Empire because he really doesn't want to let all that evil run rampant in the world. Whereas the other members of the Batch, Hunter in particular, is more like, we need to keep our heads down because we're trying to look after Omega, this kid we have here. And yeah, that provides a nice point of conflict, especially when Omega obviously overhears Echo giving these sentiments and is like, tries to really focus on getting the mission finished when things go inevitably wrong because, well... She doesn't want to feel like she's keeping the batch from living a normal life or all that. So yeah, as I said, this whole thing was just a really fun time. We get to see more clones, unfortunately still stuck within the boot heel of the Empire. But it is nice to see that the batch aren't, try aren't going out of their way to kill them. The only casualties you could potentially get are when they're like shooting down ships and stuff. Oh yeah, and Wrecker's improvised tank weapon. That was pretty fun. But yeah, the real core of part two comes when they encounter this old man in the forests. This who gives them shelter and attempts to teach Omega a little more about being a regular kid since, well, she's never really had that life anyway. And I gotta admit, well, when he showed up in the climax of the end, I honestly got really worried that he was going to die. I mean, I know this is a kid's cartoon and all, but let's face it, this is a Star Wars cartoon. They can go places. And speaking of tension in the climax, oh my god, when Tech was pinned down under that tree, like, I honestly thought he was done for. Which is silly of me, because I know he's going to be fine, he's one of the main characters, and we've seen him doing stuff in the trailer if for later episodes, but... Yeah, I actually managed to forget that, when he was being pinned down by laser fire with only that one tree to shield him. Like, yeah, that looked really hopeless, so props to the production crew for managing to get that level of tension out of me. And speaking of tech, he also injures his foot in this episode in a way that couldn't help making me think of Nemec from Andor. Yeah, Tech may have broken his femur out of that uh, crash, but let's be honest, the, the other Star Wars character who got through those injuries didn't make it out. Yeah, don't know if I have too much more to say about these episodes, except that ending. Yeah, it's official. I hate Admiral Rampart and desperately look forward to him getting his comeuppance in the near future. Because I bet it's going to be glorious. I think that might be all I have to say for now. 
I am the Overly Positive Fanboy, and this has been Overly Positive Vlogs. I will see you next week. So long, folks.